So good morning, YouTube world. It is an absolutely, well, you can't see the sky. It's an absolutely glorious day. And yes, I sound like I'm sick, but I promise, even though you can't be contagious through the world of digital technology, I am only sick from the neck up. So I wanted to come out here today and I'm gonna, um, flip this camera around so you can actually see what well, you can see behind me. Where am I at? This is a set of stairs in the mountains of Kentucky. And I don't care where you live, there's going to be stairs somewhere. So I'm going to turn the camera this way because I don't like it the other way, even though YouTube likes it better the other way. So there is going to be 162 stairs down the mountain. And this is literally a mountainside. I found this place a long time ago. If you didn't have this option, then find um, you know a nice stadium, um, some place that you can go that has a, quite a few stairs. The great thing about these is that they're a really good height, so they're not real close together. So they're a perfect height. They're real great for me. Um, a few of them are broken, so I have to be really careful. So we won't talk about safety for now. Um, if you didn't have a gym, there's no excuses. That's why I'm here. It's a no excuse mentality. Um, weakness is a choice if you can read my shirt. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, no I'm not, because I can't. So you're gonna walk with me. If I was out here to get an entire workout, but I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm only here today to run the stairs. I could utilize my park benches for push-ups and dips. So push-ups with my hands on the bench if I don't want to be on the ground. I don't care to be on the ground. And then of course dips to work the back of the arms. Also, and I hope you're not getting dizzy, also we have a really big parking lot behind me. There's parking lots anywhere you go. Find one that's not busy. And it is on an angle, if, even though you might not can tell. So I would go down toward the bottom where it's lower and I would run sprints maybe up to that tree right there. There's a tree. And I would just use the tree as my marker. And then I would maybe run, walk or run back down and do it a few times. So I may come out here with the intentions of running, jogging, or sprinting five uphill sprints. Also from that tree that you see, there's actually a sidewalk that comes around in front of my car. I would do um, walking lunges, um, down or up to help, help work the legs and also to kind of give my heart and lungs a break from the sprints if I needed it. Also, um, there are curbs here. So I might take the curbs and do um, some one foot on the curb and it's hard for me to demo. I may just borrow this person's truck. So there we go. That works. So I may... Um, do like an elevated squat and then step over and do another elevated squat. Um, you could do like, whoops, sorry, I'm trying to stay in the camera. Some Bulgarian type split lunges, just utilizing your surroundings. And it's not that that curb's gonna make a difference for my squats or lunges, it just gives me an idea of different ways to change up my workout. And again, I'm really sorry about my voice, but I really wanted to do that, this little tidbit this morning. Now, I did just wake up, so, you know, YouTube, forgive me for the hair. This is yesterday's kinky hair. Um, if you look this way, this heel actually goes, um, well, I may just take you with me. This, we won't go all the way, because it's kind of, like a long distance, but we're gonna go down this hill first. I just got here, so um, super early in the morning. But just so I can talk, this is all downhill. It's gonna go around, there's a beautiful lake, and then it's gonna take me to the bottom of that 162 stairs. I'm going to take the up. It takes me, I think about 90 seconds, nonstop to go up the stairs because I am pretty used to them. Um, if you're new to stair climbing, just know that it's hard and 
it's a very challenging thing so you got to set your your goals small and build on them when I come out here every season it gets warm I set a goal to do them about five times but that's because I work out all year if I hadn't been working out and it was new I might only even set a goal for one or two times um, let's say for example I was doing an outdoor boot camp or something <clears throat> we're coming around to another part of the road and there's a stop sign right here but I'm gonna show you what I've done in a boot camp class <clears throat> to the right is where we would go to get to the bottom of the stairs but to the left is another incline and it may be hard to tell in the video but we may actually from here do if I was doing boot camp or I say we because I've brought people out here to work out with me before we would just kind of run that hill and back and if you go up that hill it actually takes you into another parking lot that's pretty empty and there's park benches and we've done some other things there like just utilizing um, landmarks so I may decide to start at this stop sign and run a sprint to the next stop sign just in your mind make a commitment I'm gonna run to the stop sign and then I'm done and I'm gonna do that five times and if it takes me 30 minutes it takes me 30 minutes there is no time limit on fitness the next time you come you maybe do five times in 27 minutes or you do six times in 30 minutes whatever thing that whatever you choose the ideal is that you just try to get a little bit better at it each time like I said when I first came out here in the warmer seasons my goal is to hit those stairs and do them five times when I'm super duper trained on them I have to do ten times and then as I get stronger with that I have to add a weighted backpack I've actually came out here and did them 17 times on my 17th anniversary but I couldn't walk for 17 days so I decided that was crazy so what I do now is once I get conditioned to five or six good good strong trips then I'll start to um, either like I said add a weighted backpack or up my my intensity and try to do a little faster all right I'm gonna end the video but I do want to show you the beauty of Kentucky so there you go lots of weeds so it's a glorious day it's um, August the 2nd and I'm really really on a mission to inspire lead and guide you ladies um, whoever's watching so um, there's my view I'm gonna turn this off thanks for watching my YouTube channel outdoor workouts are the best the best the best the best especially when the weather's this amazing so thank you again and you have a fabulous day